Hi there, it's me, Ayo, the Popcorn Philosopher. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the Kate Bush Deep Dive, where we're doing Never Forever, Kate Bush's album from 1979. This is part two, where we're gonna talk about Delius. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm gonna do any background on this one. I'm just going to just listen this time. Oh yeah, this was a continuation from Babushka, right? <laughs> Almost like a organ preset drum pattern. I like the male vocals in contrast. Ooh, interesting. Almost like a harpsichord sound. Piano chords. Very glassy. Most of this reaction trying to figure out what that sound reminded me of. It's Wayne's World. Interesting, very trippy vocal. fly in the background wow i was like getting lost in that <laughs> towards the end there but i was like mind association <laughs> i was like wondering i heard genius and i heard syphilis so i was like thinking is this about like beethoven oh baby it's not even saturday night that dog's been stealing my thunder since the nandis but even i think that's weird or what is this about? Because it's very stream of consciousness, very spacey, very whimsical, but also has kind of like a, there's like an anxiety there a little bit because it has that kind of tick tock tick tick-tock, tock, tick tock tock like time, time going by kind of feeling. So there's a little bit of anxiety underneath how flowing the piano chords are and how you hear those little glassy, I have to hear it back. I don't actually remember the melody. It's not a melody that I grab onto right away, but something tells me it'll be a grower, like a lot of Kate Bush songs are. <laughs> okay, so let's look at a little background. This is from the Kate Bush Encyclopedia, Delia, Song of Summer. I didn't realize there was a parenthetical rest of the song. <laughs> is that part of it? I don't know, because it didn't say that on the album part. Song written by Kate Bush as a tribute to the English composer Frederick Delius. Okay. Interesting that it was another composer. I thought it was Beethoven. The song was inspired by Ken Russell's film, Song of Summer, made for BBC's program Omnibus, which Kate had watched when she was 10 years old. In his 20s, Delius contracted syphilis. Oh, interesting. 
Well, that's interesting that two composers contracted syphilis. Or at least I think Beethoven didn't actually contract syphilis. I think they exhumed his body later and found out that he ha he didn't. But for a long time, they thought that that was why Beethoven couldn't hear was because of syphilis. But they found out that there was no proof of that. But interesting that both had that as part of their story. It was the B-side to Army Dreamers. Interesting. Interesting, too, that she got it from a BBC program, just like Babushka, just like Wuthering Heights. It's interesting how TV played a huge role, and I relate to that as a latchkey kid. <laughs> I was very much a latchkey kid growing up, spent a lot of time by myself, neglected as a kid. TV basically raised me. TV and movies basically raised me in a lot of ways. But I wonder if Kate Bush spent a lot of time by herself. I I've noticed a lot of her subjects deal with loneliness and I didn't have like tons of friends in school either. So I was a very lonely kid. And I think a lot of that makes for a good songwriter and a good artist or a good artist. And it teaches you empathy, you know, when you do make friends. You're more appreciative of them and you're more empathetic to them, I think. And I've noticed, you know, Kate Bush has a lot of empathy. That's why I wonder if her childhood was more lonely than is portrayed in so far the, the documentaries that I've seen. And you can tell Kate Bush had a lot of empathy for Frederick Delius, and I got that from watching the wonderful video Kate made. It depicts a wheelchair-bound Delius, and I think the character Kate represents is the part of the imagination and life that still goes on even though Delius is paralyzed. You can watch the film that Kate Bush was inspired by here on YouTube. I actually didn't mean to watch it all, but I got all wrapped up in it and it was much better than I thought. And Delius's plight is sad, but I have more empathy for the people who took care of him. And I'm going to say something maybe controversial. Delius was kind of an asshole. There, I said it. <laughs> But the film follows Eric Fenby, the man who took Delius's music notation due to Delius being paralyzed. And that da da ta That comes directly from the movie because let's just say Delius was an epic grouch. <laughs> And honestly, there's more to more to Delius's and Denby's friendship because Denby does grow a lot from his association with Delius. But the person I feel most sorry for here is Delius's wife, who was rather a successful artist in her own right, but gave it up mostly because she married Delius. And he'd go off to Paris. Sometimes he'd stay away for days. I just had to stand by while he enjoyed himself with other women. There were terrible scenes with abortions, everything. And when he contracts syphilis, she's forced to completely give up her career to care for a grouchy old man for most of the rest of her life. So it's interesting to me that this song comes after the couple we learned about from Babushka, but... It is so thrilling to watch the thing that Kate Bush was inspired by all those years ago. The Song of Summer is the composition that gives Kate's song its title, but they don't really have much to do with each other. But those doodly doos I was talking about earlier, you can hear some similar flourishes in Song of Summer. I actually found out that Kate got to meet the real life Eric Benby and he saw the Delius video. He told Kate, um, quote, as a great individualist, Delius would have applauded you at least for doing your thing your own way. How lit is that that she got to hear from the last man alive who knew Delius that well? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, these more in-depth reactions. I think the next video I want to do by itself, I think I'm going to have a lot to say about it even though I've never heard it because I know someone told me what the subject matter was about. 
Okay, don't forget to like, share. No matter how hard I try, you keep pushing me aside and I can't break through. <laughs> That's my share. <laughs> yeah, share, subscribe, all of that, la la la, helps the channel. Appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, that your life is a wonderful, beautiful musical, and I hope that I get to see you next time. Popcorn Philosopher, over and out.